Buying bonds is on the decline. Back in 2000, over 400 million U.S. savings bonds were purchased. This year, only 400,000 of the government goods were sold. So the question is, are bonds going the way of the dinosaurs? U.S. savings bonds may sound like a blast from the past. Many of us can remember getting gifted the slips from grandma and grandpa. As a gift, it's a nice way to give someone something that's a little more long term for their future. But the future of U.S. savings bonds is looking bleak. Savings bonds just aren't as popular today because there are other vehicles that are much easier for people to use. With interest rates currently hitting only half a percent, keeping your cash in the bond stash won't make you rich. Still, some may want to bank on the bucks, so here's your bond breakdown. A bond is a type of debt, so a government may put out a bond to pay for a bridge or pay for road repairs, and it's basically you are a lender to the government. And with that loan, you pay for a portion of the project, and your money matures over time. You buy a bond for, say, $25 you put in, and it's a $50 bond. It's just part of why people use it for a gift. Once your tender hits its term, the dollars can dial up additional interest for 30 years. But that's when time runs out. It will mature. It'll tell you, yes, it's a 10-year bond. It matures in 10 years. You'll continue to get interest for 30 years, and after 30 years, you get nothing. So if you have had a bond for more than 30 years, cash it in. And while bonds today have a low return, there have been some golden years for the government goods. Check the bonds you have. If you bought in, say, 2006, it's more like 3.7 or 3.5, depending on when you bought it. So they could be as high as 7, 8, 9 percent if you bought them, say, in the 80s or 90s. So bust out the bonds. And when you cash in, remember to thank the grandparents. Thank you. You can cash out of your investment by bringing your bonds to the bank with your identification. The bonds officially went paperless in January of 2012. So if you're looking to purchase the papers, go to treasurydirect.gov or you can head over to ktla.com slash moneysmart for more information. I'm Glenn Walker. Back to you.